Judy Murray is calling for more free tennis courts in the Midlands to halt a decline in the numbers of people playing the game. The mother of former Wimbledon champion Andy Murray visited an inner city school in Birmingham today as part of a new scheme to open the game up to the masses. Dan Pallet went to meet her. It's not exactly Wimbledon centre court, but that's the point. Judy Murray was in the Sports Hall of Broadway Academy to show that tennis can be played almost anywhere. It's all about letting them have a chance to try tennis and showing them that tennis can be played in really any small space where you've got a little bit of creativity and a little bit of equipment. Today's sessions were organised by the Tennis Foundation, a charity which aims to make the sport truly inclusive. And we would like to think that kids that show an interest in this school and in other schools in the area have the opportunity outside of school hours to play tennis at their local hub and to enjoy it. Broadway Academy is in Perry Bar in Birmingham, surrounded by some of the most deprived areas in Europe. It's precisely why it was chosen for today's coaching. Tennis is often perceived as an elitist sport, which is exactly why the Tennis Foundation has come here to an inner city school in Birmingham. The message today from Judy has been, wherever you are, whatever your background is, it, believe it can be done. And at Broadway, our students do come from some of the most deprived backgrounds, from uh, poor starts in life, but we give them every opportunity to do well. And tennis is a great medium for that. Facilities are also an issue. The courts at nearby Perry Park have gone, replaced by a BMX track. But four city parks boast 15 courts between them. There are also tennis centres. I have this thing that, you know, if I go to the park to feed the ducks or play on the swings with, with my kids when they were small, I don't expect to pay for it. If I want to use the tennis courts in the park, I shouldn't have to pay for that either um, because I pay my taxes. Tennis is not alone with the problem of falling player numbers, but today the sport was fighting back. Dan Pallet, BBC Midlands Today, Perry Bar. And you've got to have a look at this. Our colleague, Philippa Hudson, is constantly being mistaken for Judy Murray when she's out and about. So this morning they finally met and Judy is on the right, I think. It's uncanny, isn't it? <laughs> now when